to me That I'll stay strong, that's who I'll be And I will always be the best me that I can be There's only one me, I admit Have a dream, I'll follow it It's up to me to try we made when we had a topic of India. We used flower pots and put brown paper on them. Then we made some designs on them and painted them with acrylic paint. And you can... And then we made these. I think we have something in here and covered them with this and then used the rubber bands to hold them together. And you can look who lived in ancient Japan called Hokusai. He did wood printing and wood carving. First, we made the designs. Then, we rolled it with a roller in ink. And then, we put it on foam. That we did it on foam. And then we put it on paper. The, the detail and the 
techniques used on, on the elephant and the quote under it. I also like the quote underneath and I really like the detail of the head and the, the, the elephant itself um, in the picture here. This is our, these are all painting flowers. This one is mine, see? The, I had the stem, the leaf, the grass, the sunshine, a bit of the cloud and rain, and the petals, the middle part of the flower. This one because I like the the way they faded the um, the sail and the texture of the dragon of the figurehead and how the dude is drowning. I kind of like how the beard is drawn. Uh, year four made these Viking ships uh, collage and the techniques for the sea were with cling film. Like we had to uh, paint with dark colors and then for a bit put cling film on it to make this kind of texture. And the second technique we used a salt to absorb a bit of uh, the water colors and make it in different kind of tones. The sky we made with water colors and uh, some uh, chalks, uh, kind of pastels for maybe the sun or the uh, birds. And now I'm going to talk to you about the ship itself. So the ships, we we drew the ships here and then some people have added oars as you can see here, here and mostly actually across this row. And so then we made the sail using tone, which is to go from dark to light, as you can see very well done in this one. Blue skies ahead, yes, I'm on my meerkats that we made. First we drew our meerkat. Then we we got another piece of paper and we colored the bath background with paint. And then we glued our meerkat to the paper and we could add any accessories with with colored paper. After we made a 3D meerkat with clay. This one, I also tried redrawing it, but this one will be, be the best. It's kind of creepy. Um, we like it because because we like how they yeah, use different pieces of uh, paper to make the dress and the crown. I also like the gingerbread one. <laughs> and I'll be explaining how we made these Roman pots. So lately, we've been learning uh, about Roman pots. And, uh, and uh, we've been making them in art class. So here are all the Roman pots. So first we, we made the base, we pinched the sides. And then if we had two choices, we could do the strips or we could do pinch it up a bit more. Painted them, we made sure that we didn't put too, too much. And then and then we put in the kiln, um, waited about a week or so, and then it came out and it was, it was dry, but the paint was, was like rough.
talking about our whale pictures. And so, first of all, we looked at videos of lots of different whales. And we also looked at videos of people painting and drawing whales. And then we practiced drawing our whales. And then um, we practiced all the different techniques. So um, blending colors, um, using the, using salt and um, hand sanitizer and cling film and we practice doing those techniques before we put it onto our whale pictures. Uh, I like this drawing because there's a lot of detail like when like you can see the splashes there's a, there's a lot of detail in the face like there's lines and stuff like that. Oh. And yeah, it's just really good. I like this one just because like it's an abstract, it's kind of like abstract art is like because you can tell that here it's like a darker blue to sh so that it's like the ocean. Uh, the whales are so wonderful. Save the whales. Gigantic masterpiece, as you say, is Charles Darwin. He used um, lots of different animals and natural pictures from magazines to make this design. And it was Miss Alex who helped us with the contour, and it all made it lively with all the colors. And also, like, if you look a little closer, um, you can. You can see like um, some lizards or um, maps. Oh, that's really nice. Your piece. Um, so this is my one right here. We were doing Darwin um, in art class and all of these animals, they're like surrounding him because he's part of the nature. He's made such such a phenom phenomenal um, uh, discovery in science, evolution. And I wanted to include all of this in, in one picture with the contrast of the white and the strong vibrant colors. Um, and the eyes, I really wanted them to, to look deep into you so that he could tell you that he made this amazing discovery. Boka na ye, boka na ye, boka boka kasai. Boka na ye, boka na ye, boka boka kasai. Olele, olele, moliba makasi. Olele, olele, moliba makasi. So Maggie, tell us a bit about your sculpture. This is my sculpture right here, this dog. Like many other people make some dogs and animals. But I was, I decided that I would make a dog because no one else in my class had a dog. And I, I was inspired by, I believe this is Lorenzo's piece right here, this one. Uh, I really like the dog, so I decided to do a dog of my own. Uh, I don't really know what breed it is, but I was inspired because I really like dogs. So we had to make the structure, like this internal wire, and then 
uh, we had to put, put over foil and then we uh, finally we had to paint it using like these metal like, metallic paints and it gives it this really nice bronze effect and was inspired by uh, Alberto Giacometti sculptures because this is essentially these kinds of things he made after the war by melting down pieces of metal and it was kind of to reflect his depression because he was quite sad after the war uh, eh, oh. Tell us a bit about your piece. So we were do in art we were doing watercolors and there was this artist called Turner who we were like um, being inspired by his paintings and then no one else did a night sky so this one's mine and I chose to do like a, a night one and then the colors that you pick like to paint usually like reflect a lot of things so I chose mine to reflect like the sky and the night and yeah.